Hello, my name is Omar Abbasad. It is March 2nd, 2018 uh, in Toronto and it's um, 11.58 a.m. So I'm doing this blurb uh, because uh, I just came home and um, I was dismissed from my job. It was not a fit. So um, what was interesting is that um, there was a constant buzz in the office about contracts and surveillance and mentions of uh, the police and reports being made about me and gerbling and uh, prostitution and, um, and uh, different names were being called like Rick and Sir Mad and, um, and uh, monitors on the account, people who signed me out uh, um, from the system and they had a deposit on me, and they have a receipt on me, and uh, they're going to lose the deposit. And uh, all these comments were being made in the, in, in the office from day one. So um, from all my other uh, videos that I posted uh, and the contents in those videos, I'm going to make some assumptions uh, based on what just happened. Um, there is a contract to surveil me because I'm flagged from this building. And this has been going on from, from I'm, I was going to say day one, but maybe it's day one, but I became aware of it 10 years ago. And uh, the flagging is, uh, is a result of uh, being illegally surveilled and spied upon and lies being told about me because the flagging I am suspecting started when I was working full time as an accountant and I was going to UFT taking courses at night, so I'd come home late at night, one o'clock sometimes, because the, by the time I got home um, uh, from downtown after uh, evening uh, courses, it'd be one o'clock. Um, anyway, I, th I, I suspect that the, the, um, the pimps in the building uh, made that look like I was, uh, you know, uh, I had a second job and I was coming home late dressed in a three-piece suit sometimes with a briefcase, driving in. So uh, anyways, uh, so they are uh, coming back to um, my dismissal today. This was a, a, very, um, a very stressful three weeks, extremely stressful three weeks. I've had to deal with uh, a lot of comments um, made around me constantly. So uh, I was... Uh, uh, in a, in a in a environment that um, that these comments were being made constantly around me for the seven eight hours I was there. So uh, on that, that's on top of being trained as a as an accountant, everything being new, and um, getting used to everything. So you can imagine it was very very stressful. I ended up in the emergency. Um, in the emergency um, department in the, in the hospital close by because uh, of uh, heart fluctuations and palpitations. And I started getting palpitations again um, as soon as I started working uh, in this specific job. So obviously it was not a fit, not because of the content of the work itself. Um, it was because of this reporting that's being done about me that I'm suspecting is going on. None of this has been disclosed to me. So if there is reports that's being made about me and people are making um, um, accusations and suspicions about me while I was there, I heard I was stealing. I heard I was standing too close to somebody and this was while I was um, doing filing for them and, and uh, accessing information on their desk because the filing was theirs. Uh, and all these uh, actions and activities um, are, being, um, are being reported uh, in a sexual light. Well, why would that be? Because obviously it's not sexual. Um, well, it's obvious to me. Uh, it's not sexual. Um, so why would they, the employees who are all Chinese, why would they interpret my actions as sexual? If I was uh, being um, social and friendly, I'm too friendly. Um, if I bend over to uh, get something, oh, you're showing your butt. Um, if I wear leotards, like most people do, um, dressy ones with a long top 
um, not dressing uh, appropriately. Um, they saw me crying, which I never did. I put tears in my eyes because I have dry eyes. Um, I do suspect that um, that uh, it's possible that the contents of my of my screen was being broadcasted um, out, and this has been done in other places as well. I'm suspecting. So this is um, this is uh, causing a, a whole lot of stress. It's setting me up to be harassed. Um, so what is really going on here? I heard uh, in the building that uh, there is going to be no human rights hearing. Uh, today is uh, the deadline for a response. So, um, and uh, so it, 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 there was a comment about we are going to have you committed and have you declared mentally insane. So there is going to be no human rights hearing. Well, obviously, I'm not mentally insane because here I am talking about what's going on. The uh, reports that's being made from this company, if there are reports being made, are uh, all lies. I've been harassed criminally. I was criminally and heinously harassed in the workplace. I'm suspecting based on a report that was released into the workplace and set me up to be harassed. So um, if I vented on the screen uh, and I type my feelings out, and uh, if that has been recorded, then it's, um, it's evidence that I am being harassed in the workplace. It's not evidence that I'm mentally insane. It's evidence that I'm trying to cope with the harassment. So it's evidence of harassment in the workplace. Um, of course, venting includes sometimes, uh, uh, you know, you might swear, right, I'm, I'm typing it out. I never, ever, ever verbally verbally um, vent in a workplace ever, ever. It's quite unprofessional to do that. So um, if I type it out in Excel, this is just for my release. And if I'm typing it, it has to do, it, it means that if it comes to the point where I have to type it out to, to release the anger and the, the, the pain that's being caused by the harassment, it means that there is an intense harassment going on, which wasn't uh, the case in this company. So I just wanted to say that there is no emergency here. Um, three weeks is not going to ruin my reputation as an accountant. I'm a very good accountant. Um, in the first week I was trained, I was thrown everything. And then I realized uh, as the second week uh, unfolded that this was not exactly the way things were done. And people were not trained that way. Um, I was given everything to do at the same time being new and expect and a deadline was expected to be met. And, uh, and the errors were not seen um, in a very pleasant, in a very, um, um, the reaction to the few errors that was made was not very pleasant. So what was really going on here? What was really going on here? This is not a way to train somebody. You don't throw everything at somebody the first week when they're brand new and when there's a whole lot to be learned. The portfolio is 25 buildings. The, the system was new to me, um, although the, the version of the system that they used were new to me, was new to me. And everything is new, so um, it, this is not normal. So if a report was made based on that, um, that uh, training session, then uh, it's misrepresentations of the fact. If, if uh, of the facts, excuse me. If um, if statements were made based on what was observed, uh, I'm slow. I can't, you know, I'm not picking up. I'm not remembering. This is these are all lies. They are complete and utter lies. And these are just uh, lies being told as part of a piggybacking of um, of the reports that I'm su I'm suspecting has been released about me in the workplace. They're not true. There is no mental insanity. There's no emotional disturbances. There are reactions to being viciously, criminally, heinously harassed by mostly Chinese workers. Talk to you another time.